Today, we are going to be training our sheep to electric fence. And I have my helper with me today. Come here. Oh, what are we doing today? Uh, training sheep. That's right, we're gonna train some sheep. What are we training them to? Electric fence. Electric fence, let's do it. Today, we're gonna be training our sheep to electric fence. It's very important when you train animals, especially animals like sheep, which are very flighty. Uh, when they get scared, they can run and ram and jump. Pigs are like this too. If you're gonna train them to electric, make sure to do it within the confines of a permanent fence. Do not train sheep up in your field with electric fencing, like movable electric netting, and then nothing on the other side. Because what's gonna happen is they're gonna jump and run and jump out of your fencing and escape. So today we're gonna to set up electric fencing on the perimeter of their regular paddock. They'll learn about electric fencing in here and once they've established that understanding of it, then we can move them out into the field. This is Gallagher Smart Fencing. It's an awesome product for certain applications. This is one of them. You're gonna watch as I very quickly set up this electric fence on a reel here. Watch how it works, it's pretty cool. All right, you ready? Yeah. There we go, our first one is in. Now we go like this, buddy. Pull this back to like here. Keep it nice and firm. Okay. And I just get yeah. down. Yeah. All right. All right, ready, bud? Look at that. Right there. I'll hammer this in and then you hammer. Oh, let me have the hammer. You have the hammer? I'll do the big one and you do the little one, okay? Okay. Hold that. This is a really cool feature with the Gallagher Smart Fence. Each of their posts, they know you gotta make corners with your fencing. So each of their posts has these little ropes on them with a pin all ready to go. And all you gotta do is pound your pin into the corner. Oh yeah! Yeah. Done, yeah. You give that a little tug, and now you got a nice firm corner and you can make a hard right angle. Great little system for setting up a quick little paddock. trying to figure out where to end this thing. I think what I'm gonna do, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have this fence. Oh, they could escape there. We're working in the dry lot here and there's really coarse gravel everywhere. Over there's where the lighter gravel is. So I think I'm gonna reel this back up over there and just make that our corner. That'll work pretty easy. This thing is nice because all you gotta do to reel all your fence, you have four lines of fence here. You just take this reel, you gotta tighten it. Nice job, but make sure to shut it so the sheep don't get out.
crazy. I can remember when my oldest, my 10 year old son, was this guy's age, helping me with electric fence, my first time ever using it. What are you doing? Hammering it. You're hammering it, why? How to get the needle be electric. That's right. What for? And uh, it just feels like today watching him is like, just, man, time goes by. Okay, we're gonna clip this to the fence. And now the fence is electric? Should be. Okay, we're gonna turn it on. All right, let's see, I shouldn't get shocked. This is going in the ground. Are you scared? A little bit. Okay. Well, it's always scary when you do something you don't know. Get this ground really deep down. Now we can turn it back on. Yeah. Definitely got shocked. Time goes by. Ah, uh, don't we see don't a day. That's right. You gotta make stuff happen. If you want the life you wanna have, you gotta make it happen. Because time goes by quick and your kids they grow up fast. And uh, you just gotta you know if you've been waiting to get homesteading, you've been waiting to uh, get your family out in the country, whatever it is. Just gotta get it, get do stuff, cause my 10 year old was that little boy. It seems like just a couple days ago. That Gallagher Smart Fence, you can see how quickly you can put up a four strand electric fence. It's not perfect. You have to uh, take it down in the winter. We put ours up in the winter and the, the twine it comes with is very lightweight, so it does freeze and break, so that caused a problem. And then it got tangled, which was a nightmare, but that was because we left it out in the winter. So don't, it's not a year-round product. You can't use it year-round, but for putting up a quick paddock and then taking down a quick paddock, it's a really handy little tool. You don't get a ton of space with it, but for four sheep, we're gonna see if we can't use it up on the hill. Now it's time to let the sheep actually learn about this electric fence and I want to observe right now. I don't want to leave them because if they were to get entangled in the fence then they're getting shocked, that's no fun. So I'm gonna watch them, let them be near the fence. I might put a scoop of grain on the far side of the fence that they're interested in, which will lead them there. A good nose to twine contact is pretty much all you need. I did add a grounding rod to my setup over here and uh, hopefully they'll get a good strong, one good strong shock to teach them and then they'll respect it forever after that. So let's see if we can't educate these sheepies real quick. We're gonna pause on training sheep to do a camel train shout out. And today's camel train shout out goes to Jackie who has a YouTube channel, Little Country Cabin. Jackie and her husband are homesteaders in the beautiful state of Mississippi. They grow and raise a huge portion of their food and they share how they do this on their YouTube channel, Little Country Cabin. Jackie says, I love all things homesteading, from growing to preserving and caring for all the things that God has blessed us with. Jackie owned and competed with horses all her life, but when she got her sweet Jersey Lily, well, her heart was stolen. She says she gives back way more than she takes. She's kind and gentle and has become the center of our homestead. This is so cool to read. She says, I learned so much from y'all's videos on owning a family milk cow and Kay really encouraged me and helped me feel confident enough to purchase our first cow. That is so cool to see somebody who watched our videos who decided to go out and get their first uh, jersey because of it and just is loving it. Having a family milk cow is a life-changing experience and I'm so glad that we were able to help, you know, encourage you and help feel like you could do it there. Jackie says they raise a few hogs each year, they have some chickens, and she's very passionate about herbal solutions and using those to keep us healthy. 
She's got a fantastic little YouTube channel, The Little Country Cabin. I went and watched a couple videos. To share the skills that I've learned, and there is a hummingbird flying around my head right now. Oh my goodness, that is perfect! <laughs> My name is Jackie and this is my little country cabin and this is a little homestead. Uh, if you go and click there you'll you'll get to her channel and you get to see some of her videos. So go watch a few of Jackie's videos. Say thank you for sponsoring this episode of the Homesteady Camel Train. A hundred days of a hundred videos all about growing our own food, keeping our families healthy and uh, we're a third of the way through the camel train. We got about 70 more days to go. Actually, a little less. We got about 60 more days to go in this journey. And uh, Jackie, your t-shirt's on its way, so heads up for that. And maybe wear it in one of your YouTube videos and we'll share it with the audience. So let's get back to training sheep. One of the things I try to plan when I'm teaching animals to electric fence or uh, you know something where I need to observe animals but I still want to get work done, uh, I don't want to just stand around for an hour watching sheep touch an electric fence so I plan other little projects. I'm going to set up a feeding net for my sheep. We know it is important in dry lot condition to feed your sheep up off the ground because if you're worried about worms, you put sheep in a dry lot, you feed them hay up off the ground, there's very little chance of them getting any worms into them. So we brought the, bought this hay net. We're gonna try this as a slow feed hay net. I'm going to see, I've actually never used one of these before. So we're gonna try it out today. We're gonna fill this thing with some hay and see how it works for these sheepies. This is all new experience. <laughs> Well, I think they got the basic idea. It never takes them too long, especially when you get that nose contact. A wet, you know, an animal with a wet nose going down close to the ground to get some food. One good shock and that thing psh, jumps backwards and figures out real quick to avoid it. Seems, you know, no one wants to get a shock to the nose. It seems a little bit mean for training your animals but it's a lot nicer than your animals busting out of your fencing and winding up getting killed by a coyote somewhere and you know. So one little shock to the nose teaches them really quick. Uh, we find with animals like sheep especially, they have the insulating hair or wool on their body. So you really gotta go for a good nose contact for this uh, electric, solar powered electric setup. Now, when I get them out, they will not be on solar power. They will be connected to our, our fencing that the cows are on, which is good. Uh, not, not, solar is good, but this stuff's even stronger, plugged in, you know, full power to the, the electric grid. But just for training purposes, we got the little solar power charger out here, and it's working good. I, so far, have seen two of the sheep come in contact with it. I'd like to see all of them avoiding it, but over the next few days, we'll get to see how they handle this if they wind up plowing into it. They're very cautious animals, but they do, as you can see, spring and jump and run, so you gotta make sure that they don't, that they understand their surroundings, they can see everything clearly, they know where stuff is, and they know how it works. So I feel pretty good now. I can leave these guys for today. Uh, no one's gonna get into too much trouble without me watching them. I do have my wise camera up that overlooks the paddock, so I can always check in and watch 
and see what's going on back here uh, from the house too in case you know something were to happen but i mean at this point they all got a pretty good idea how this works so I'm gonna leave them like this probably for a week. I really want them to respect this fence and understand this fence, but I do need to get them out into the field eventually because new animals are coming here that have to take the place of the sheep. And you'll learn about those in the future. This is the year of like new animals.